Today, we would be delving into the Erasmus Mundus Joint Master in Imaging. Okay, so we would be talking about the Erasmus Mundus fully funded scholarship for a master's degree in imaging. Okay, so if this is the first time you are watching any video on this channel, I am glad you are here. You are definitely going to find more videos worth watching on this channel. Kindly hit on the subscription button for me and then the post notifications so, so that as and when I release a new video, you would definitely be notified. Now, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so now we are on the homepage of the Erasmus Mundus Joint Master in Imaging. Mind you, I would be inserting all the relevant links in the description so that access navigation and then application is very, very easy easy and then straight to the point for you okay so if you are prepared for a visionary behind the future of imaging then the erasmus mundus joint masters program in imaging is your passport to mastering and visual media processing with machine learning and deep learning by the time you graduate you would be the go-to expert in visual signal processing ready to contribute to industries like healthcare education defense entertainment gaming and technology consultancy unleash your potential with this international program global connections and then the power to shape the future application is now open you can submit your application until the 29th of february 2024 okay so you can submit your application until 29th february that is the deadline for applications okay so these are the schools that you would be studying you can click on them to read more about the schools okay so now let's look at the cost and then the scholarship okay i just want to throw more light on the scholarship component of um, the joint masters in imaging and what you stand to gain once you obtain a scholarship to study um, on this program okay so let's just um, scroll down I just want to emphasize a few things here then once you have the time this link is going to be in the description so you can check out and then verify all the information for yourself okay so note there is no application fee required to apply for the EMJM consortium however please note that application fees may be required to the respective universities but i'll clarify this very soon because once we get into um, more details you would understand what this means however there are no application fees i can um hit my chest okay i can hit my chest and say that there are no application fees for this program okay so um if you do not have a scholarship you would have to pay tuition fees but our main concern is about the scholarship okay so let's look at the erasmus mundus scholarship within the erasmus mundus joint masters framework selected students and um, can be awarded scholarships funded by the european commission the program offers around 15 scholarships per year so 15 people would be awarded erasmus mundus scholarships okay so this scholarship will contribute to the participation cost medical insurance a monthly living allowance and a contribution to travel and installation the sum that a student will receive via scholarship is 1400 euros per month for a maximum of 24 months okay so how to apply for the scholarship if you wish to apply for the scholarship you can make your scholarship application together with your program application in the application portal okay students will be notified via email of their scholarship application results along with their Erasmus Mundus joint master in imaging application results okay so that is the scholarship component that I wanted to emphasize on so now let's look at the application and then the admission okay so now we are on the application and admission page okay so this page provides detailed information about how to apply what the application process is eligibility requirements and what is required after selection okay so let's look at um application and then selection prospective students apply during the application periods which are indicated further below students apply to the tracks they wish to be enrolled okay so that is application to erasmus mundus joint master in imaging application for the emjm in imaging and then via the consortium portal so we would be looking at the uh, application portal for the emjm imaging program very soon um however note this application to polytechnic de milano okay students also need to apply to polytechnic de milano at the same time as they apply to the erasmus mundus 
joint masters in imaging. Otherwise, the application to the Erasmus Mundus masters in imaging will not be valid. Okay, so this is the twist. Okay, so after you apply to the consortium, it is also very important for you to apply to Polytechnic and the Milano because that is also the host institution. But this application process is quite um, different. It differs from other Erasmus Mundus applications. Okay, so once you apply, to the consortium, you also have to apply to Polytechnic de Miliano. Okay, I would be inserting all the links to um, these application portals for you. Okay, but we will be checking them out very soon, so don't worry. I am going to show you all that you need to do, and then the documents that you need. Okay, so we have already spoken about um, the scholarship component, and then the third thing is that eligible applications are shortlisted after an eligibility check made by the partner universities in the consortium, and then um, the selection committee does what it has to do. Then the results are ranked, and then the students are notified uh, with official letters. And then uh, you sign your student agreement and then uh, you can read more about the selection process okay now let's look at the eligibility requirements okay prospective students should satisfy the eligibility requirements of the tracks of the application the full list of eligibility requirements will be announced after the consortium partnership agreement has been agreed upon okay so now let's look at the basic requirements okay a bachelor's degree in information and communication technologies computer or electrical engineering or in a related field with at least um, 30 credit hours in the mathematics applied mathematics including courses in probability theory and statistics and linear algebra and then 60 um, credit hours in um, computer engineering including a course in object oriented programming okay so these are the basic requirements you need to have a degree in information and communication technologies or um, computer or electrical engineering or a related field and then you must have like some few credit hours when it comes to mathematics and applied mathematics and then also with um, computer engineering you need at least 60 um, credit hours um, including a course in object oriented programming okay so um, country specific requirements this is going to be on um, the home page of um, Polytechnic um, de Milano, we will be looking at that very soon so you don't have a problem. And then with the English language requirements also, there's a twist here because once we go to um, the Polytechnic de Milano page, there are different English language requirements and then the ones here also are different, okay? So usually you need um, the basic uh, English language test like um, TOEFL, IELTS and then Cambridge and then with most Erasmus Mundus programs, um, you are exempted from the English language uh, requirements once you have an English language proficiency letter from your university. However, it is stated here that students can prove their language skills without a language test if you have completed an upper secondary degree or university degree with English as the language of instruction in an EU or EEA country, Switzerland, the USA, Canada, the UK, Ireland, Australia or New Zealand. An automatic ranking is built based on the evaluator's assessment okay so it states here that you can only use your english um, language proficiency letter if you come from um, any european union country or um, the eea country or switzerland and um, the us canada uk ireland australia or new zealand africa is not inclusive here so this is where it gets a little dicey because I'm going to show you the English language requirements at um, Polytechnic de Miliano and it states that um, once you have um, an English language proficiency from your university, you are exempted from the English um, language requirements. So this is where it gets dicey. So there's a little confusion here. So I would advise you to send an email to the consortium. Okay. So you send an email to the consortium and tell them that um, the English language requirements via the consortium page and in the English language requirements at Polytechnic the Milano are different and that uh, you have an English language uh, proficiency letter does that exempt you from the English language uh, test okay so that is it with the English language requirements I, I want to find the email for the consortium for you okay yes so once you scroll down to the end of the page the email where you can contact the consortium is here so make sure that you send them an email and then explaining the english language requirements and let them know that your undergraduate studies was in english and you have an english proficiency letter to prove to this effect and, and ask them if you still have to provide an english language test and then from there you would know what to do okay so that is with the english language requirements once we get to the polytechnic the milano requirements i would show you what i was talking about earlier on okay okay now let's look at the required documents that you would need mind you you need required documents for 
the consortium and then require documents also if you are applying to polytechnic de milano because you have to do all these two applications okay however most of these documents overlap once they do not overlap i would definitely let you know okay so you need a copy of your passport it has to be in the pdf format and also you need um, an up-to-date cv a maximum of two pages mind you you have to use the euro pass format there's going to be a link on how you can get your euro pass mcv in the description so you can check that out also you need your motivation letter definitely the relevant resources in the description is going to um, show you a video on how you can uh, write your letter of motivation in four simple steps then also you need your diplomas okay that is your your, your degree certificate in pdf and also your transcript also in pdf okay and also you need one recommendation letter you need one recommendation letter for this application then the next thing that you need is your proof of residence also check and um, the link in my description you can see how you can you can watch a video on how you can generate your proof of residence okay so that is it and then with the english um language proficiency we have already spoken about it it is advisable to send the email because um the english language requirements on the consortium is different from the one at polytechnic the milano and then since you would be applying to polytechnic the milano and then the consortium italy it is advisable to send the email so that it is clarified okay so the consortium is going to do that for you i've already showed you the email that you can uh, send send the inquiry to and then this is the selection criteria okay so the evaluation for students applying to the master's program are the following they look at your academic excellence and then your cv your motivation letter and then your recommendation letter as well okay so for each criteria on the numerical grade is given and then after that everything is going to be put together for you okay so mind you the deadline and um, for application to the Erasmus Mundus Joint Master in Imaging is uh, February 29th and also the deadline to Polytechnic de Milano is also February 29th. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Okay, so now let me take you to the application platform okay i will take you to the application platform of the consortium and then the application platform of um polytechnic de milano because you have to put all those two applications in okay so this is the erasmus mundos joint master in imaging application platform okay so you read um all the basic information here you answer the tracks that you are applying for you put in your details okay once you put in your details you get to upload all the documents right here on this page okay so this is the consortium page once you finish everything you just submit your application okay once you submit your application this is it with the erasmus mundus joint master in imaging after that you have to apply to the polytechnic de milano okay so let's look at how to apply to polytechnic de milano okay so um it states here the basic information that is um the deadline as well okay so we will be going to the um, portal very soon but then i want us to look at the list of um the required documents as well and see um the differences that i was talking about earlier on okay so you have to register online we would go to the university application and um, portal very soon and then you have to fill in the application form but when you are filling in the application form you have to select what master's program in computer science and engineering okay so you are not going to find erasmus Mundus joint master in imaging there so just choose computer science and engineering and then you are going to upload the required documents now let's look at this if you apply okay if you want to apply for only the Erasmus Mundus Joint Master in Imaging Program, you do not need to pay the application fee to um, Polytechno de Milano, okay? Please ignore all the automatic reminders about the payment of the application fee, okay? Ignore all the automatic um, requirements that you have to pay any application fee. You are not obliged to pay any application fee once you are applying for the Erasmus Mundus Joint Masters in Imaging Program, okay? If you want to apply to any other program at Polytechnic, md milano that is when you have to pay an application fee but for the erasmus Mundus joint master in imaging you do not have to pay any application fee okay so now let's look at the required documents that you would need when you are applying to um, polytechnic de milano mind you i said almost all the documents overlap okay so you do not have to uh, worry about the documents but then i would like to speak about the english language requirements that i was talking about earlier on Mind you, this link is going to be in the description so that you can verify and then check out um, all this information for yourself, okay? So now let's 
scroll down and look at the documents okay so first you need your university qualification okay so that is your bachelor's um, degree and then after that you also need uh, your bachelor's degree certificate okay then after that you need your transcript as well then also you need what your cumulative gpa statement okay so you have to upload a cumulative gpa statement which must include both what your cgpa and then the grading scale with the minimum passing grade in use at your university this document must be officially issued by your university you can upload your bachelor's transcript or diploma if this information is provided okay then you need your cv okay we've already spoken about the cv and this is for um, people who are applying for architecture so uh, we are not part of this so now let's look at the language proficiency that i was talking about earlier on okay so once we click on the language proficiency let's scroll down here all applicants need to provide a document attesting their english language knowledge this is a requirement both for English and for Italian taught programs, okay? So you can read about the language requirements, TOEFL, IELTS, Cambridge, Trinity College, okay? That is it. But then see, English as bachelor medium of instruction. Students who can prove that English was the medium of instruction of their bachelor degree, at least for three years, are exempted from providing any English language certification. In this last case, students are required to upload a document certified by the university attesting that their program was entirely taught in English. Okay, attention, your English um, certificate must be verified upon your arrival to Italy and right before the beginning of classes. There are only two possible ways to do this. You bring the original certificate with you at your arrival to Italy or you request the institute where you pass the test to send the result directly to Polytechnic de Milano. Okay, photocopies or PDF files will not be considered as official documents. Okay, so all you need as proof of English um, language is a uh, it's an English proficiency letter from your university when you are applying to Politecnico de Milano. Okay, so this is it. This was the um, uh, the extinctions that I was talking about. So just do all to send that email to um, the consortium to clarify um, the English language requirement. Okay, but just let them know that you have your English proficiency letter from your university and that you have been speaking English your whole life. Make a strong case for yourself. Okay. Okay. So now these are the requirements. Then. These are optional requirements as well okay so the letter of motivation all these and um, things are overlapping okay so now we go straight to the application portal okay for polytechnic de milano and then you just get to um click on register once you click on register it brings you to the registration portal where you put in all your details and then you complete your application process okay so that is it for the erasmus mundus joint masters in imaging application remember you apply to the consortium on the consortium page and then you apply to Polytechnico di Milano okay all the links will be in the description I know and this video was quite uh, detailed and uh, maybe a little bit longer than expected but then I had to specify all the necessary information for you okay so I wish you all the best in your application and I will definitely catch you on the flip side stay blessed and I am out